every generation, there's a moment where everything changes. This is one of those moments. Introducing GE Additive. John Hartner, I'm the Chief Operating Officer at Envision Tech. And what are you guys showing today for the first time at Formnext? So at Formnext, great show for us, one of the leaders in the space. We obviously have a huge booth here, right at the front door. Uh, very happy to be here, not only showing our products, which are always those high accurate, high functional parts of the best in the industry as far as detail in the dental and the jewelry and in the uh, range of other areas and medical areas. But really we're doing a lot of new things that relate to industrial parts. And that's some of the new material machines and materials we're showing here. And you brought with you some robotics today to the show floor. Can you talk absolutely, a little bit about Absolutely, absolutely. So Veritas 3D is a product line that Envision Tech has a strategic relationship around the world. We're helping them go into the sand casting and investment casting world and disrupt it from new technology, robotic technologies. You can see behind me. What we're doing, instead of having a big box of a machine that's very expensive and very restrictive, we have a very flexible platform based on a robot that could build a small area or build a very large area and is totally scalable and very cost effective for medium, small, and large foundries across the, uh, across the region. And is this a concept now or is this actually available to market? Well, it's available. We've been selling this in the North American market and we're bringing it to Europe and showing it for the first time here at Formnex. So really happy to be introducing it. This has been really the place where everyone walks in the door and comes right over. They ask us a bunch of questions. I think Howard, our application manager, has been the number one uh, busy guy in the booth today. And this isn't the only um, interesting thing you guys have shown recently. You've also got the SLCOM Composite Parts 3D printer. You talk us a little bit about that today. Yeah, so uh, we didn't bring that machine. It's a really large machine because it fits large composite parts that are used in aerospace and automotive. Uh, I brought some samples of those parts, whether it's a carbon fiber uh, peak part or whether it's something like, like a fiberglass and polycarbonate part. These are parts that are used in very critical functional applications in very high-tech areas. Uh, we're yeah, we introduced that machine at the Rapid Show from a concept standpoint, and we'll be shipping that in the first quarter of the year. It's going to be really exciting and really change the composite industry and bring additive in a real industrial fashion to composites. So what do these new technologies tell us about the direction that Envision Tech are taking at the moment? Great, yeah, absolutely. So again, we are leaders in professional and in medical, but this show is a lot about industrial, and we're really showing that we have more tools in our toolbox. I talked about that last time. It's not just having great polymer plastic parts that have high surface finish, high functional characteristics, but actually moving into binder jetting for sand casting and vesting casting, into composites, and into a whole range of other areas that are very relevant for global manufacturers around the world. And I noticed on the stand as well, you've also got um, an addition to the Vector family as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Absolutely. So yes, uh, so we introduced Vector at the Form Next Show last year. It's been very popular, a mid-sized platform to go into a range of industrial manufacturing companies for, for high, that want high quality polymer parts. Um, but again, we do a lot of high accurate parts. And so we introduced the Vector Hi-Res, which has almost double the uh, resolution as our, prior, as our standard unit. We still have our standard unit. It's still you know, shipping in high volumes right now around the world. But the new Hi-Res will be very relevant for folks who want just that little bit better accuracy for their customers and for their parts and their products. And finally, what can we expect to see from Envision Tech over the next 12 months? So we're finishing the year now, going into 2017, what can we expect to see from you guys? Right. Um, actually, I think it just continued innovation. We are a company that's been around for a long time, so we have great credibility, 15 years almost of experience and installed base, serving customers around the world. But now we're introducing at a more rapid pace new technologies like the robotic sand casting, like composites, and like high-res polymer machines. These kind of continued innovations are what you're going to see more and more as we've invested in innovation in our companies and continue to scale our business to serve customers.